entire weight they, they they measure basically how much how much rubber is left on it they can calculate exactly what rubber it's got left and it seems like alex and the suzuki are Ready for another titanic battle in Termas de Rio Hondo. 25 laps to MotoGP race coming your way. Front row, Mark Marquez. The lights go out and it's a blistering start from, Maf uh, from Mark Marquez. Maverick Vinales has got it all wrong. Davizioso charges forward as well and it's plan A. It's worked well for Marquez. He has the lead into turn one. Vinales has got absolutely swallowed off that front row of the grid. Rossi was sharp off the line, he's still in fourth place. It's Marquez and exactly where he wanted to be. Rossi trying to find a way up the inside of Jack Miller. No way through at the second corner. Marquez then from Davizioso and Miller. Clear track in front of him. Will Mark Marquez go into escape mode? Is this already his move to make the crucial break? Davizioso knows that if Mark gets clear track, he'll be gone. There is Valentino Rossi. Maverick Vinales, his teammate just behind him. They're not going to get close to Mark Marquez. The speed of the Honda works so well this year. Is this it? Is this the last they'll see of Mark Marquez? And Rossi won't slipstream Jack Miller down that long back straight. There was a touch there. Franco Morbidelli on Cal Crutchlow as they swept through turn number five. Lucky escape there for last year's race. With a lucky escape there as well for former Moto2 winner Morbidelli. Close contact. Maverick Vinales, despite that poor start, recovered well, actually. He's really got to do the business now. He's got to try and find a way through on Jack Miller. Just behind Davizioso, there he is. Uh, sorry, behind Miller, there is Valentino Rossi. And in the back row, Maverick Vinales does make a move on Jack Miller. He has been true to his word, then. Vinales getting the gloves off. He's getting aggressive. Jorge Lorenzo had a nightmare start. He was 12th on the grid. Lorenzo's been pushed back for 21st place. Shocker for the Spaniard. Here we go, then, up towards this uh, final sector here in Argentina. And Valentino Rossi is up into second place. That will make the crowd go wild. He goes through on Davizioso, but Marc Marquez, across the line, has a one-second lead. Yeah, and Davizioso, just look at the power and the grunt of the Ducati out of the final corner. He blitzes effortlessly through again on Valentino Rossi. Nothing Rossi could do about that. The Ducati stripping the paint off the side of Rossi's M1. The last thing Valentino Rossi needed, and he's not going to be able to make a move down the back straight on Davizioso with the power of that Ducati surely. Jack Miller's gone back through on Maverick Vinales. Cal Crutchlow still there in touch as well. He's sixth there to Morbidelli, Petrucci, Nakagami and Quattararo. This is exactly what Marc Marquez needs. They're playing into his hands here. Davizioso and Rossi getting into a bit of a dogfight for second place. Marquez with clear track in front of him. He's just stretching away, already through the first sector on lap two. He's one and a half seconds clear, and Jack Miller he used the slipstream to fire on through by Valentino Rossi. Cal Crutchlow's picked his way through on Maverick Vinales at turn number five. And Morbidelli will try and ride ambitiously around the outside of the Spaniard coming through turn six. They almost had contact there, but Marc Marquez, he's clearing off into the distance. Oh, it gets worse for Maverick Vinales as Danilo Petrucci's trying to go through him on as well. Rossi and Miller really getting up next to each other here. Brilliant riding there from Valentino Rossi. He holds on to third place. There is Petrucci up the inside of Maverick Vinales. This is not going to plan for the number 12 at all. Well, everybody being aggressive on Maverick Vinales when he said he was going to do it vice versa. He's now coming under real pressure as well from Taka Nakagami, who's had great race with him all weekend. Vinales will try and find his way back through on Petrucci coming into turn number 12. No way through. Davizioso holding firm. Rossi stuck in a Ducati GP19 sandwich right now. And while this tussle and tangle goes on, Mark Marquez with clear track, a 139.426. On that last lap, Mark Marquez was 1.3 seconds faster than Andrea Davizioso. Two laps of the Argentinian Grand Prix. Marquez, two and a half seconds clear of the field. They're not even going to see which way he goes here. Their only hope right now is that he either runs into tyre problems or he makes a mistake. It's a battle for second here right now in Argentina. Davizioso from Rossi, from Miller, from Morbidelli, who's had a really good start, and it's Crutchlow and Petrucci. Well, Marc Marquez will feel this is exactly what he should have done one year ago. All the drama started when he stalled on the grid as Jack Miller again. Doesn't even have to work hard for that move on Rossi, does he? He just uses the 300-odd horsepower tucked underneath him in that Ducati motor to breeze on through past Rossi. Franco Morbidelli's having a real good ride. He's now getting a good look at his mentor. This was Morbidelli's uh, 
aim pre-race. He said, if I can go with Valentino and learn from him, that'll be fantastic. You know what Rossi got in there tight on Jack Miller, and Morbidelli's about to ride around the outside of him almost, coming through turn seven and eight. Yeah, well, Morbidelli and Rossi, they do get racing, and this is the first oh, time Calcroft, it's happened. Sorry, Steve, Cal Coxlow jumped the start. Last year's race winner jumped the start. It's just flashed up in our comedy box. Cal Crutchlow, his podium hopes have completely evaporated. Cal Crutchlow's got to come in for a ride through penalty. He jumped the start of the British rider. What an absolute disaster for the number 35 on the podium. Three laps remain. Mark Marquez, we've not seen a lot of because he's home and dry. He's 12.3 seconds clear. As Rins made his move. Alex Rins has made his move, and Jack Miller's trying to find a way through up the inside of Danilo Petrucci. He's running Petrucci out wide offline. Jack Miller's made it through again, so costly turn five for Petrucci, fourth to sixth place in about 50 yards. Well, the question is, Matt, can Alex Rins find one and a half seconds? Well, it may be too late for Alex Rins because he hasn't been able to run the pace of Rossi and Vizioso over these last two or three laps, that's for sure. This man just going through the motions right now. It's become a Sunday afternoon cruise in the sunshine for Mark Marquez. One of the most dominant performances we've seen in recent MotoGP history. Just looking out of our commentary box window, I didn't know if Valentino Rossi was only looking up the inside of it, Joe, so at turn 13 he wasn't quite close enough. Well, there are two laps remaining to Vizioso and Rossi. That two of the most experienced riders in the field, the two Italians. Yeah. Has Rossi just been waiting and waiting? And you Rins, know we'll have a go on the last lap. Rins hasn't got the pace, and he's just lost that fourth spot as well to Jack Miller. Alex Rins, I don't know, if just pushing those tyres, he's just running out of steam in terms of grip. But he's not going to be hunting down the Vizioso and Rossi, that's for sure. Guys, Look at that by Mark Marquez. Simon. Just a thought on the Suzuki of Rins going forward, so, you know, in the, this race, but also in Qatar. I caught up with his crew chief, Manu, on the flight after Qatar, and he said that they had plenty of tyre left, a rear tyre, and uh, it's, I think it's how they measure it is not tread depth, it's tyre weight. They, they, they measure basically how much, how much rubber is left on it. They can calculate exactly what rubber it's got left. And it seems like Alex and the Suzuki, are, or, or one or the other, or both, are easy on the rear tyre, and that's why he goes forward in the race. Well, just imagine what damage he can do then, Matt, if he can find some speed on that super soft tyre during the qualifiers, because that is what is costing him some serious points right now. Yeah, well, Q1 did for his challenge for the podium, didn't it, really? Rossi versus De Vizioso for second place. They're two seconds clear of Jack Miller now, so... Here he comes. Miller's not going to get on the podium as well. Davizioso will try and defend this. Marquez is already starting his final lap. It's been a faultless performance from the world champion. Shocking performance by Mark Marquez. He's just in a 140.2. What's he flying at? It's now or never then for Valentino Rossi. Both of these guys desperately needed a podium here in Argentina, and at the moment, if they stay put, they'll get one, but... Both of them want second place. And Valentino Rossi here will have a couple of chances on this final lap. He's got to stay close to Davizioso on the back straight. He'll probably have a chance at turn seven. He'll almost certainly have a look at turn 13. Well, it looks like Valentino Rossi's long, long barren run without a podium is coming to an end. He hasn't been in that top three since the Saxon ring in Germany way, way back in July. He's in third place now, he'll want second spot from Andrea De Vizioso. He's not going to be close enough though to attack De Vizioso in the braking zone for turn number five. He's got some supreme corner speed as Valentino Rossi. He's got to be close to the tail of De Vizioso here. He's not going to be close enough to do it into turn seven. Or is he? He's having a look, he's having a look. He sits up De Vizioso, the crowd here go wild. 46 flags everywhere, he has made his move. And what he did there was, oh, Vinales and Morbidelli are down. The two Yamaha men are down at turn seven. Both of them beaten up. What Rossi did there was tactically brilliant. He just pushed De Vizioso wide up onto the dirt. De Vizioso couldn't open the throttle because he'd a high-sided. Mark Marquez, though, a masterclass here in Argentina. Mark Marquez crushes the opposition in Argentina. His first win of 2019. 
And now we wait for the podium battle. And at long last, Valentino Rossi is back on the top three steps. It's second for number 46, and he's celebrating like it's a win. And Davizioso takes third. And of course, what that means, Steve, Valentino Rossi taking second place, it's cost Davizioso a share. But